It's a beautiful day. I am really excited for another live here today on my Instagram. Someone messaged me and they're like, you're the queen of lives. And it's true, maybe I am, because I love them so much. You guys, they're just fun. I get to learn, I get to meet people. I get to sometimes learn languages, learn about cultures. And you guys don't know, but in this live, there is a surprise guest from Turkey later on. So be on the lookout for that. I am going to invite Zach in right now, my guest of honor in this live, and we are going to learn together and have fun. If you guys haven't seen, I was on his YouTube channel last week. We talked about languages and culture. Hi, Zach. Hey, how are you? Is my is my sound good? It's, Do I look okay? Is everything everything good. going well? Everything's great because this is your first Instagram live, right? Yeah, my Instagram isn't very big. It has like three thousand followers. Um, yeah. So I usually do everything on YouTube because I have more followers there. Yeah, you have a big following on YouTube. That's amazing. Well, hopefully you can We're getting there. keep growing your Instagram if you want. I hope this live will help you as well. People are already asking about the surprise guest, and I'm like, you will just have to wait. <laughs> so we'll see. yeah, we'll see what happens. Yes, exactly. So thank you for saying yes to going live, for being here, and thank you, everybody, as well, who's in this live. So, Zach, why don't you introduce yourself? Well, my name is Zach. I was born and raised in America, uh, Florida, to be exact. When people ask me what, Amer what Florida is, I say, okay, this is America. Yeah. This is Florida. That's, that's how I, I do. That's how I... <laughs> I do that, too, because when people... Okay, I have to show you this way, because I'm from Michigan, and so I'm always like, I'm from up there, like the upper. Oh, wow. I use my <laughs> I've never thought about that. I've always just thought about that. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. But I do, I do like, okay, is this is, well, I guess I have to do it this way yeah. for, for the, the screen. So this is Florida. This would be like California and yeah, this is New York. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, totally. that's, learning, that's awesome. Learning geography <laughs> with our hands. It's a good way to do it. it anyway. Indeed. So I was born in Florida, raised in Florida. I moved to Turkey when I was 22 for like an extended internship. I went back to the States and I was like, hey, that was kind of cool. And then while I was in the States, I started working online. Um, and then I said, hey, I'm working online. I can do this anywhere. Yeah, I should just go back to that, that place where dollars were really, were really strong and I could go live there and work online and yeah. work like 10 hours a week and make a living and I was like we could do this so now now I live in Turkey and, um, and I wasn't I wasn't sure how long I was going to be here um, since I'm coming back it's been like four or five years uh, wow. yeah so we're just hanging out having a good time yeah so I got lots of friends yeah. got a girlfriend that's, just, just having fun yeah that's cool what are like the biggest culture shocks for you as an American living in Turkey? Oh gosh. Um, so the, a lot of, a, a lot of things aren't as obvious as you would assume. Like we have, a lot of people say that like, like the, the culture shock is that it's not shocking. Like you come over here and expect everything to be different. Yeah. And then everything's not different. You're like, Oh, that's shocking. You know, yeah. you have to kind of get, deeper you have to get deeper into the culture before you really start to see some of the differences mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um one thing that is kind of surface level that uh i'm not sure if it's bad or good i just i just don't really like it is um uh for example if i ask you um like hey do you want to have some food you have to say no first and then you can you can okay. accept it later you know yeah stuff like that yeah or you know you're it, you could be starving to death but i'm like hey you want some food? Like, no, I'm good. I'm good. You know? Wow. Um, Did you or, used to say yes? <laughs> Did you used to say yes in the beginning? Absolutely. I still say yes. I still, I still say yes. <laughs> You're like, I want and when, food. <laughs> when, when, and when I talk to people, I'll oh. say, hey, man, you want some food? I'm not asking again. That's how I say it. Mm. Um, yeah. Like, so give me your answer. Um, I feel like I've been here long enough to where I can like objectively say like, this is good and this is bad. Yeah. And I think this is one of the things yeah. where, where Americans have, have, have got it right. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Another, another example would be like a friend of 
<laughs> a friend of mine. Um, so a foreign friend and a local friend. Yeah. They were hanging out. I heard the story. I heard the story secondhand. They ha- they hung out until like midnight. Yeah. And then the local friend dropped off the, I'm sorry, the, the foreign friend dropped off the local friend. And as they were dropping him off, the local friend says, so do you guys want to come in for some chai or something? For some tea or something? Yeah. Um, and they were supposed to say no. Like, they're not supposed to accept the offer. They're yeah. supposed to say no, no thank you. Um, but they didn't. <laughs> yeah. So they went in and had, had tea at like one in the morning. Oh, oh um, my goodness. <laughs> So he, it wasn't a real offer, you know, yeah. it was just like, I have to do this. Yeah. I'm supposed to, it's yeah. my, it's my obligation to do this. But then um, once so that's, you that's commit, a, that's once kinda, you say that, I mean, you got to follow through, right? If they and then, yes. so then you have to follow through yeah. or else it's like embarrassing. Like, no, I was just joking. You yeah. can't say that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's amazing hi you guys just coming in there's already been some questions for zach like what is your age now and what city are you living in i am 28 years old and i live in istanbul oh cool yeah and if you guys have any questions for zach this is a cultural language learning type of interview zach teaches english targeted to Turkish people because he speaks amazing Turkish, which we'll get to hear later on. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's amazing, hey. but it's better than most foreigners. I'll, yes. g- I'll give myself that. Yes. What drew you to Turkey? Like, you're like, I'm in Turkey. I'm going to just settle there because many Americans well, uh, well, would choose someplace like in Europe, real like Spain or I mean, Turkey's part in Europe, but you know what I mean? Like England, yeah. France. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, so, so, so, I mean, I would be lying if I said the value of the dollar wasn't, um, you know, okay. a big, a big part of it. Um, that was, I mean, that was like three years ago where like a dollar was three Turkish lira and now yeah. a dollar is like eight Turkish lira. So, so it's kind of gotten too far. Is it even it's cheap kind of gone anymore? Too far. Is it even like really worth the value as with the dollar? Or do you make money in dollars or do you make money in their money? Uh, well, well, I actually used to make money in dollars. I recently changed that. And, uh, oh. and yeah, I can <laughs> kind of feel what they feel now, you know? Yeah. Okay. So uh, you're not, it's still like, easy. Do you work 10 hours a week like you originally set out for? or are you working a lot more time I, I, I definitely I definitely don't have I don't work like full-time okay. um, if I did my YouTube channel would probably be much more active okay um, but yeah I, I still don't work like a full-time job yeah uh, but yeah it's, I'd have to work a little more than I used to yeah, yeah. okay it's so interesting wow Zach started to feel us now yes new followers <laughs> new people coming on you guys are so welcome to just learn with us, practice your listening skills, practice your writing skills by asking us questions. I'm sorry, this isn't like an open live today for anyone to join. I will do that again in the near future. I know you guys love to practice your skills. Okay, someone was already asking you, this is a language question. I have problems with writing. What can I do? Um, well, with writing, it's, it's productive. You have to produce. Um, yeah. And when you do that, you don't really know if what you're saying makes any sense unless somebody reads it, you know, unless a native speaker Corrects or somebody it, better yeah. than you reads it, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so the only thing I can think uh, uh, to get really good at writing, you would have to have some sort of interaction with someone who is either really good at English or just a native speaker yeah. um, for them to look over what you're, what you're, what you've said. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only thing that you can do without like someone like that mm-hmm. is just to do lots of reading. Yes. Just to kind of I was going to add that reading is great. Steal. Yes. Stuff. Hey, this is a cool phrase. Yes. Hey, this is how they say this, yeah, you know, exactly. and just copy and just copy what yeah. you see. Just read the type of things that you want to get good at writing and then just yeah. steal stuff. Great. That's awesome advice. We might be kind of back and forth with random questions because depending on what people want to know. So this person's asking, Zach, do you want to confess your main income source? Like where is your main source of income from? You are welcome to say, no, I don't, or you can answer. Uh, I'm not, I, I'm not sure if it's my main income source, but YouTube has, YouTube probably makes up about half of it at this point. Oh, that's amazing. So, um, that's amazing. So I hope big to chunk. get there. I need to learn your tips <laughs> for YouTube. Seriously. The, the tips is just to go a long time making content without making any money. Yes. Okay. And then 
you eventually start making money. That's, so I'm, that's I'm the tips. The I did about, <laughs> uh -huh. right. I started, I actually kind of cheated. So I did a, I did a collaboration video with a really popular YouTuber mm -hmm. and that's where like my first 700 came from. So I, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. for like my first, my first like six months, yeah. I got up to like a, 150 subscribers. It just wasn't going anywhere. Yeah. Um, and then I did a, uh, what is that called? A, collab. a collaboration yeah. video with, with somebody else yeah. and that's, and I got like six or 700 overnight and wow. that since it's been going up ever since. That's yeah. amazing. That's very cool. The, the other big, the other big moment in my YouTube channel, mm -hmm. the history of my YouTube channel yeah. was, um, I critiqued this guy's English. This guy referred to himself as the best English teacher in the world. Okay. So I critiqued his English. I was like, well, uh, he made a mistake here and he's not very good at pronunciation and stuff like Interesting. that. Um, that guy made a, uh, made a response video oh and it was okay. and, uh, and he has like 400,000 followers so he made a wow. video about me wow. so like and, during that week every week I had uh, every day I had a thousand people subscribing no every day way. I was 13,000 14,000 15,000 uh, wow. <laughs> and and then he took his video down <laughs> no he's like crap yeah. I'm helping this guy out too much. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. How many followers do you have on YouTube now? Like 88,000, I think. You're um, so close. I think it, go follow him on YouTube, you guys. You can go to his Instagram, follow him there, and then access his link to his channel. Yeah, I think the link in my biography is, goes to my Cambly thing oh, right now. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, so English with Zach. You can see my name, okay. Z-A-C-K. Yeah. Just write English with Zach. Yes. And, uh, if you're in Turkey, just write like Zach, mm -hmm. and I'll probably show up. Yeah, totally. Oh, somebody's <laughs> asking how many American followers do you have? Uh, a couple. I, I don't. <laughs> yeah, none. because like, most <laughs> of them are from Turkey because you, you're speaking Turkish. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of my videos are uh, have Turkish. Um, in uh, how do you say that in English? I ex I do the explanation in, in, okay. in Turkish. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome mm -hmm. that you can do that. Somebody's asking yeah. what else drew him there specifically, I think, to Turkey. He's from Florida originally, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, when I initially saw the, the opportunity, um, you know, the, the internship opportunity, I was like, okay, do I want to go to this place? Let me, let, me, let me do some research on this place. Yeah. And I was like, okay, it's not really Europe. It's not really the Middle East, mm -hmm. kind of. Kind of like a cultural bridge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's kind of cool. And then I was like, okay, it's got lots of history. I, I, I kind of like history, especially kind of like early, like the end of the Roman Empire, you know, that yeah. kind of whole area. Yeah. Not the end of it. Anyway. Um, I was like, so there's lots of history and it's going to be cheap to live there. And it's kind of an interesting, weird culture. Mm -hmm. Let's go see what happens. Wow. And, uh, yeah. That's here, amazing. Here we are. So somebody's asking uh -huh. if you have a girlfriend, which you said, yes, you do. I do have a girlfriend, and she is wonderful in every way. How did you meet her? Uh, we have we have a bunch of mutual friends. Okay. Um, and I hit I hit her up on Facebook, and that didn't work. So then I tried Instagram, and it worked. Nice. <laughs> that's that's, that's, that's amazing. a true story right there. Okay. If you're yeah. trying to find love, just reach out on Instagram. See what happens. Just, which platforms <laughs> yeah. and just, just go with it. Yeah. Yes. Oh, thank you guys for your comments. Thank you for following us. They said Camille and Zach are my favorite teachers. Uh, okay, let's see. Someone wrote something Turkish right now. Yeah, so. if you see anything Turkish and you want to respond to it, feel free to do that because I will not understand uh -huh. it. Uh -huh. And I'm not even sure how live streams, so do I... Dude, I'm not sure how I see the comments. You have to scroll. I'm you have to scroll. Illiterate. Just take your finger and just scroll up and down, and you can see the comments. I think. Can you see them on so, your end? Does it stay? Yeah. It, does it? Does it just stay in a little tiny box like yeah, that big? Yeah, like, That's what I'm seeing. Oh, that's pretty small, like that. Yeah. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so this person it's not like says, "Abu Google Adam He says, "I wrote. I, I wrote. Uh, I, I can't translate that. Never mind. Oh, that doesn't. No. So." <laughs> okay. I wrote the man. I, I, I searched the man on Google and, and Zach popped up. That's what he said. Oh, nice. <laughs> Very nice. Zach, what do you think about master teachers? <laughs> That's probably a reference to, to the, um, video? the video that I made. Okay. Yeah, because okay. his, his name was like master of languages. Okay. Or, uh, the, 
that's what they're referring to. And that became like a big deal. Um, yeah. And like the Eng the Turkish English learning YouTube world, wow. everybody started talking about like being a master and what it meant to be a master and all, and all sorts of stupid stuff. Interesting. Uh -huh. What do you think about why Turkish people are struggling while learning English? Why do Turkish people struggle to learn English? Well, because English is hard. All languages are hard. It's yeah. hard to learn a language. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure if it has anything to do with English. English is very irregular. So I would say that's, uh, yeah. that's something that's very difficult about English. Mm -hmm. um, the irregularity of English is difficult. And uh, the fact that you don't know how to pronounce anything just by looking at yes. the letters. I'm um, sorry, guys. That, I always feel that, bad. That probably makes hard. But is that probably makes things same? difficult. Is Turkish the same? Like, or is it more of a phonetic alphabet? Turkish is rather phonetic. It's almost, almost Good perfectly news. phonetic. There are very, okay. there are very few exceptions. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Turkish people typically don't like to accept the fact that there are exceptions, but yes, yeah. there are exceptions. They like to say we have a perfectly, uh, what's the word, phonetic language yeah. and we read everything or um, we write everything just like we say it, mm -hmm. uh, but that's not, that's not quite the case, but it's almost the case. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Somebody asked, I don't know if you're familiar with IELTS, but how many months does it take to learn IELTS stuff? I have no idea. And that would, I mean, even if I did have an idea, that would depend on the person and right. how often they're, so I mean, I assume that these people are sleeping. I would assume it's not just like nine months or six months straight. It would be yeah. different, you know, time periods yeah. of studying. I, so, I feel like um, I could be wrong. Somebody, if you're familiar, correct me. But I heard there's like a thing where you need to spend some three intense months right before your IELTS test, which would make sense. But I don't know how much you spend before that, if you spend a year studying, you know. So. And then what does what does intense mean? Does that mean an hour a day? Yeah, see, that's, does that mean that's true. Th intense, five hours yeah, a day, you know, for me it would mean like two, three, two or three hours a day, four hours a day, maybe uh -huh. intense for right. somebody uh -huh. else. Yeah, they might be I'm studying intensely. And it's like 20 minutes a day. Right, yeah. right. Uh -huh. But I also so. think more than time, it's quality, the quality of your studying. You know, if you're not distracted, I've if you're focused in, you can learn a lot in an hour. And just the things that you're doing to actually learn, you know, yeah. so I've had people, I have, <laughs> I have a video on YouTube where I, I kind of make fun of this, this concept where people are like, I'm always, I'm always trying to learn English. I just can't do it. I just, I just can't do it. I'm like, well, what do you do? And they're like, well, I watch, I watch TV shows. Yeah. You're like, oh, well, that could you be. should try studying. <laughs> you should, you should, TV you should TV do shows something. are a great yeah. thing to add to your uh -huh. studying for sure. Yeah. Uh -huh. Or, it's, it's, I mean, if you actually know a little bit of the language, yes. then you can kind of yes. get, get practice, get listening practice, mm -hmm. learn new words. Mm -hmm. But I mean, if you're not very good to begin with, then watching something that's made for native speakers is probably going to be way over your head. Yeah, you could be frustrated. I feel like you always have to be at a level where you're pushing yourself a little bit more, but you're not overwhelming yourself so that it's so frustrating that you just quit, you know? Right. It should be hard. Yeah. It shouldn't be super, super hard. It shouldn't be easy. It should yeah. be difficult. Yes. Right. Yes. I felt that this whole French journey. I'm like, this is hard the whole time. It hasn't gotten easy. Uh -huh. Yeah. There, there would be times when I first started doing Turkish, I would be like, all right, I'm going to try to read like something, some sort of like formal, so like a novel or poetry or something. Mm -hmm. I'll get like two lines in and I'll be like, Nope, not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Not and I'll just put it back yet. down. Yeah. Somebody uh -huh. asked quality more important than quantity. I think so because you could spend 10 hours and it's horrible. It's not helping you at all. But then if you could spend one hour uh -huh. of focused study, you could learn so much. I don't know if you want to comment at all, Zach. Well, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's absolutely true. Yeah. You could spend a lot of time doing uh, things that aren't very productive. Yes. Or you could spend a little bit of time doing something that is productive. Exactly. Uh, and you'll probably get more done. Yes. And somebody else says, at school, they focus uh, more grammar than speaking in Turkey. This is one of the reasons Turks are struggling with talking English, speaking English. I don't know if uh -huh. you want to comment on that at all. Uh, yeah. Um, I, so I, obviously, I didn't go to school here, but that's what I hear is, you know, we just learn grammar. We just learn grammar. We never talk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, 
And I don't know how it is in other countries. You, you've probably traveled more than I have. Yeah. Do you have any other from people, insights of how it is? From people I've talked from, uh, in other to, countries? it's like the same story. They took Eng like they studied English in school. They know more about the grammar, the book stuff, but they're all afraid to speak and they don't really speak. That is kind of the same mm -hmm. story that I've heard from almost everybody. Mm -hmm. So I think it's pretty standard. Have you, so like when I went to, I went to the Netherlands mm -hmm. in, uh, in, I don't remember when, but I went to the Netherlands and everybody there spoke English like really well. Yeah. Um, have you ever, have you ever had any experience in countries like that where people speak English yes. really well? I would say Northern Europe. So Finland, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, all of the Scandinavian countries, in my experience, almost everybody spoke English very well. So friends I've had that wanted to learn Swedish, they were like, everyone just kept speaking to me in English. It was hard to learn Swedish. And then I would say That's Germany good. as well. They have pretty good English and the Netherlands. Um, I would say Spain, I'm, not so much. Do you know, do you know anything about like why? they're better i mean do they do you know why i mean do, is there something I'm specific it has been? to be with the school the school system because all of them said they learned in uh -huh. school and they they speak it well and they travel a lot but i think everyone travels a lot so i'm guessing maybe it's just the school maybe anyone i don't think i have many followers from scandinavia or the netherlands watching but if you do <laughs> let us know well, there's lots of there's lots of Turkish people in the Netherlands, yeah. so I'm sure I'm sure somebody's oh, watching. This from, guy's saying yeah. that my like my wife is Dutch and we communicate in English. Wow! So maybe even like in the households are just speaking more English. Yeah. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, but yeah. So people say here that um, we just learn grammar and we don't ever have any speaking practice, yeah. which is normal. Like, who are you going to talk to? You yeah. know, everybody in the class is Turkish, mm -hmm. the teacher's Turkish, mm -hmm. you know, the dogs are Turkish. Yeah. Who, who are you going to talk to? Yeah. Um, yeah. I feel like that's totally normal. Yeah. You got to find some other way to yeah. get in practice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This Danny dog teaches schools are good in the Netherlands. They have multiple hours a year. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It is interesting because when we lived in Spain, I don't think we could have got by with just speaking English. I would say Really? Yeah. I, in the very touristy areas, yes, people know English. But if you're in a village mm -hmm. or something, no, no, they don't. So, yeah, it's interesting depending on where you go, who actually speaks. Yeah. I wonder what countries are like studying English the most, who invests like the most. That would be interesting to research. Yeah. I'm not sure how we, how we would even, I guess we could just research the public education systems yeah. of various various countries mm -hmm. that'll be interesting mm -hmm. that's a good video yeah it's a good video topic yeah <laughs> yes go for it zach <laughs> someone is asking zach will you put this video on youtube so this is actually on my instagram i save my live stream so this will be saved here i guess you could zach i could send you the file and you could upload it if you wanted um but, sure we could do that yeah. i mean if you if you if that's not a hassle with you i don't know yeah if it would be yeah but, mm -hmm. i think it's pretty easy to do yeah mm -hmm. okay, okay we can do that whatever yeah it's totally up to you there was just a question okay um there's more turkish comments i don't know if oh you, should i should i take a look if you want to um, I, so I guess i gotta know. scroll all the way down yeah how does this work? Just kind of yeah. this okay. I know sometimes you get lost in the comments, but I love when people comment because it's fun because it shows that they're engaged and I love an engaged audience. Thank you guys. Okay. So here we are. I'll be in a city that he goes to the foundation city. So you can this So this guy is saying, you need to hurry up and, and make uh, some more videos because I'm almost done with your foundation series. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, have a, I, I have one where I'm trying to just go from absolute ground zero, like someone who knows zero yeah. English. Yeah. And just, go, and just teach like the full like foundations, the full That's basics amazing. of the language. That's amazing. That's uh, amazing. I do. And I do it. Yeah. Like just by myself. So I just sit and like, all right, what do, wow. what do I need to teach? Let's teach that. Yeah. What does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> then, yeah. Uh -huh. That's so cool. I don't speak Turkish, but I'm a language learner, and it's the next one on my list after French. I have committed to study French for two years, and I'm almost coming up on the one-year mark. And so after that, I will invest because it's a ton. It takes a ton of time and energy to learn a new language, 
and I do a lot of things. So I have to pace myself, but I'm very excited. All I know is merhaba, Turkiyeyi seviyorum. Those are like the most important things, right? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. One person, so somebody else asked me to put it on YouTube. Oh, so I guess cool. I have to put it on YouTube. Cool. We can send that's, you. That make, that's two. Yes. All right, what did I just, I think, I think I'm like, like unintentionally making a comment right now. So let me just. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Danny. <laughs> Thanks just, for stopping uh-huh. in. Zach, what is up with podcast episodes? We're waiting for new ones. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so, so I started a podcast, right? Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I didn't keep going. I made like five episodes. I was like, this is, <laughs> this is boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I need, to, I need to get back on that. I have, I have the, uh, what is that called? The texts yeah. that I want to use. Okay. Um, I, I have the topics topic. ready, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. But I just haven't actually, uh, I haven't done them. Well, seems like you have uh, I actually, I think I have, yeah, it's, the idea was that, like, you can't watch a YouTube video on a bus because it'll destroy your data, on your, your cell phone data. Oh. Um, so I was like, I'll make a, a, a podcast where people can just listen, you know, on oh, public transportation. Oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah, was, just the audio because. That was the idea. Mm-hmm. Which uh-huh. is a great idea. But, uh, yeah, I love that. Yeah, so I need, I need to get back on that. I'm sorry, guys. Yes. Uh, Sorry about that. Uh, Zach, do you still eat chicken shish kebab every time? Every day. Yes, I eat chicken every day. I'm an athlete. Wow. We, we love our chicken. What kind uh-huh. of athlete are you? Uh, I, I work out. Uh, so I, I lift weights. Okay. Yeah. Weightlifter. Uh-huh. That's cool. I used, to, I used to play soccer. Nice. Uh, I don't really, I just keep getting injured. So I kind of, oh. I kind of stopped that. Okay. But. Yeah, that's good. There's been this question about the school system in America twice. What languages do you study in school? This is interesting. We had to put my son in a homeschool program and there wasn't even an option for a language because we're traveling. And I feel like Mm -hmm. I don't know about your school in Florida, but the school I went to in Michigan, they don't even offer a foreign language until you're in ninth grade. So until you're like 14 years old and then you can choose in my school, we had Spanish, French, and German, and Finnish, because there's a lot of Finnish people in my school. But that was kind of it. What about yours? Uh, we had, yeah, so first of all, there, there, we had, like, special schools that, like, did foreign languages. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you didn't go to one of those, then, yeah, you started foreign language uh, in, um, in high school, so in ninth, tenth grade, something like that. We yeah. took two years, yeah, uh, two years of a language. You pick mm-hmm. one language and, and you have to take two years of it. Yeah. Uh, and w- in my high school, we had Spanish and French. That's, that's all we had. Okay. Okay. And we also, we also, we also had Latin, but I mean, that's, nobody speaks Latin. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're right. You guys, I said mystery surprise guest. Okay. I just said surprise guest and he just said, hello. I love connecting people. Zach, so I'm really excited to connect you to my good friend Oz, who is from Turkey, but he lives in California, and he loves acting, he's an actor, he's a YouTuber, and I thought it would be so fun. You guys will be talking in Turkish, so I probably won't understand a whole lot, but I thought it would be super cool Mm -hmm. for you guys to connect, and for our audience too. So I will just invite Oz in. And introduce you guys. Oh, good morning. Well, hello. <laughs> good morning. Well, it's it's not good morning here. It's what time is it's it? It's good morning for me. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's uh, it's nine thirty here. Good morning yeah. for me. So, uh, good evening for you, Zach. And <laughs> that's right. That's you, right, man. Yes, I know. Uh-huh. We're all in these different zones in the world. I love that. Yeah, yeah. How are you? I am doing really well. How are you? I'm doing amazing. Very and I just cool. saw you and my I just made you just made my day. Oh, I'm so <laughs> glad. I'm so glad you're here. And I thought it would be so fun to introduce you to Zach, who I recently met. He teaches English to Turkish people. So he speaks Turkish. And I'm a little jealous because you know I want to learn oh, really? Turkish. Are yes. you in Turkey? Uh-huh. Zach? I'm in Turkey now, yeah. Oh, Istanbul? Istanbul. I know. Yes. Aynen. Oh, very cool. Can you speak Turkish as well? I can speak Turkish. Speak yeah. Turkish. Yeah. Speak Turkish. Nasılsın? İyi misin? İyiyim. Teşekkür ederim. 
How long? Neredeydin sen? Yani hangi şehirdeydin? Ben Los Angeles şu an. Los Angeles. Bizim Los Angeles. Aynen. Aynen. Orada ne yapıyorsun? Burada okul falan uğraşıyoruz. Ee, okul falan. Aynen. <gülüyor> Herkesin <gülüyor> açıklaması. Ne yapıyor? Okul falan. Okul falan. <gülüyor> Siz neredensiniz buradan? Uh, Florida. Florida, Florida. Florida. Okay. Burada, burada hiç kimse yani Florida deyince hiç kimse alamıyor. O yüzden yani Florida falan şeklinde. Ah, okay. Uh, Güzel ya. It's very nice to meet you. Uh-huh. How long have you been? Yeah, you too, man. In Turkey. I've been here for five years or six or something. I've been here for four years. Cool, cool, yeah. Like, have you been like there just for school the whole time? Exchange people for our countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, just, we just we just we, we we swap places. We swap places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. That was so mm-hmm. cool you like to hear. That? It was so cool to hear you guys speaking Turkish, even though I couldn't understand. Sometimes I just watch O's on his lives, not understanding anything. But he's <laughs> just like so sweet with his, the people he's talking to, and so I'm like just watching him live, not understanding any Turkish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. I'm sorry for it. I wish. I wish there was like subtitles or something on the I line. I know, I know. Uh, and Zek, uh, if Camilla wants to go to Turkey, how long she needs to uh, speak like fluently? Uh, well, I'm, I'm not sure what what fluent actually means, but like, like I don't know. Like you. Like me? Yeah. Well, I've been here for five years. <laughs> so. Um, five years. I, so I've been here for a while. So you, yeah, it would take a while, most likely. Um, but you could probably have a conversation after, like, like a good solid conversation after like a year or so. Okay. Maybe less. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because I, mm-hmm. ha- I know it takes a lot of work to learn a language, and I'm telling myself already in my mind that I will invest like three years. So I'm investing two for French. I invested one for Portuguese and I learned it well, but I'm like, I think I need three for Turkish. Like, I need to be really invested in Turkish for a few years. So, uh, well, it's definitely much. Dif- it's it's significantly more different uh, yeah. from the languages you know mm-hmm. than they are from each other. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, so what did you think of his Turkish? It's amazing. Ah. It's it's almost better than my Turkish. Wow, <laughs> that's cool. I, I said like five words. No, <laughs> it's okay. you said more. You so said I think more. five years is like it's enough to learn language, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if you live that in that country, it's exactly the year like you, you need to spend. Yeah, mm-hmm. Zach, mm-hmm. do you know yeah. of any other Americans that are teaching English specifically to Turkish people? Uh, not on YouTube. I yeah. don't know if any on YouTube. Isn't that um, crazy? Like, I think he might. They're probably. The I'm sure there. I'm sure there. I'm sure somebody. I'm sure there's somebody. Um, I th- I think there are like Turkish people that grew up in America who are you know okay. American citizens or okay. whatnot or, or yeah. and, and whatnot. Yeah. But I think there's some of those people. Um, other than that, you have the occasional like American teacher at a local like language course. Mm-hmm. But uh. That's, that's that's all I know about. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's so cool, really. Do you guys want to speak more Turkish with each, with each other? I'm okay with that because I think most of our audience here is Turkish. So if you guys want to speak a little more, oh, tell tell him a little bit about your life in LA. Yeah, of course. Channel in Turkish. It's okay. If it's not a problem for you, you can. Speak yeah, Turkish. that's okay. Yes, yeah, speak Turkish. I love it. I'll just sit here happily. <laughs> okay. Ee, tekrar merhaba Zek Bey. Merhaba. <gülüyor> Nasılsınız? Abi az önce iyiydim. Yani hala da iyiyim yani. yani bir şey değişmedi. Ya Türkçeniz çok iyi yalnız ya. Daha yani 5 yıldır yani buradayım ne yapayım? Aynen doğru söylüyorsunuz. Yani e, Türk gibi konuşuyorsunuz. Sağ ol. Yani her zaman öyle değil olmuyor. Yani bazen işte oturup böyle düşünmem gerekiyor. İşte evet, bundan sonra söyleniyor ya. falan diye düşünmem gerekiyor Türkiye, ama. Tü- aynen. Türkiye'ye Hı. neden e, nasıl taş- bir karar aldınız da taşındınız? Bunu az önce anlattım da. Yani yine Türkçe olarak anlatayım. Ha. Yani az önce İngilizce olarak ben anlattım. Ben yoktum herhalde ama. ya. <gülüyor> Sen yoktun. Aynen. İlk önce bir staj için buraya gelmiştim. Yani İngilizce öğrettim. İngilizce öğretmenliği yapmak için. Geldim buraya. Uzun bir staj yaptık. Yaptım yani. 
Ondan sonra Amerika'ya döndüm. Amerika'dayken yani şey yapmaya başladım. İnternetten çalışmaya başladım. Dolar kazanıyordum. Yani internetten çalışıyorum. Dedim ki yani bunu herhangi bir yerden yapabilirim. Türkiye'ye döneyim. Orada do- dolar kazanayım. İşte teyze harcayayım. Harika yani kral gibi yaşayayım. Böyle haftada yani 10 saat falan çalışayım. Dedim. Aa, döndüm. Yani, yani. Aa, şey artık öyle değil. Artık, art- artık dolar kazanmıyorum. Artık biraz değiştirdim sistemi ama. Aa, yani kaldım burada. Yani artık bir, bir sürü arkadaşım var. Yani bir kız arkadaşım var. Yani kaldım yani. Anladım anladım. Valla çok güzel ya. Çok sevindim. Ee, <gülüyor> oraya taşınmanıza. <gülüyor> Amerika'ya gelirseniz seni diyeceğim. Los Angeles'a çağıran neydi? İşte seni işte o nereden geldi? Benim Los Angeles'a çağıran benim film sektörüne olan hayalim aslında. İlgim. Aa, o nasıl geliyor? Evet. E, işte buraya gelir gelmez oyunculuk okuluna falan gittim. Ee, bir uh-huh. üç sene falan. İşte workshoplara gidiyordum sürekli. Ee, uh-huh. İşte filmle ilgili diğer böyle kamera arkası eğitimler de almaya başladım falan. Ee, sonra e, YouTube'da yapıyordum zaten. Aynı zamanda YouTube'da da kullanıyorum bu aldığım eğitimleri falan. Ee, hem kamera uh-huh. arkası hem işte kamera önü falan. Ee, i̇şte ileride de güzel bir film yapmak istiyorum. Asıl istediğim şey bu aslında. Ama uh-huh. biliyorsunuz Los Angeles bütçe olarak çok bütçe isteyen bir şehir. Hele ki film yapmak istiyorsanız, aha, öğrenciyseniz aha. bile e, uçuk bir, bir, biraz aç kalmak lazım. Biraz perişan kalmak lazım evet. bir, bir süre değil mi? Ya, <gülüyor> aç kalmakla halle olacak olsa aç kalıp film yaparım ama halle olmuyor. <gülüyor> hani uçuk rakamlar. Bir, bir de herkes burada <gülüyor> film yapıyor. Yani geliyor Japon'a da film yapıyor, İtalyan'a da film yapıyor, İspanyolu bilmem Hintlisi. Artık Los Angeles'ta aha. yaşayanlar da bunu kullanıyor. Ha, film mi yapmak istiyorsun? Benim burada çekmek mi istiyorsun? Al sana 10 bin dolar günü birlik. Mesela örnek veriyorum. Yani Aha. biliyor insanlar. O yüzden biraz daha şey. Ama hallediyoruz ya. Ben e, tatlı dilimle <gülüyor> halletmeye çalışıyorum. <gülüyor> i̇yi, i̇yi yapıyorsun. Yani Los Angeles, yani sen benden iyi bilirsin. Yani oradan merkeze yani bütün dünyaya. Ama yani şey oluyor. Evet, yani evet. film oluyor. <gülüyor> Öyle güzel. Aynen. Are you happy? Are you still happy, Cameron? I'm so happy, yeah. We're good? I'm just like listening, <laughs> listening, not understanding, just things like YouTube, Los Angeles, you know, all of the work. <laughs> But it makes me so happy because I'm a language, I'm a language learner and maybe people are listening that don't understand English and I'm like, now I know how you feel, really, like you want to understand. <laughs> so it's motivating if it's a language that you want to learn. And I think Turkish is really a cool language. Like, it sounds really cool. I can't wait to learn it and be able to speak like you guys. <laughs> it's, it's fun. It's a fun language yeah. to, to learn. Yeah, really cool. So that made me very happy. Thank you guys for speaking some Turkish. And I'm so glad, Zach, that I, that I was able to introduce Oz to you because he is just really special to me. He is one of my favorite Turkish people ever. He's always supporting me and my content and really like I just love him so much. So <laughs> Me too. Yes. We are waiting for our next I can't meet. I can't do that with my hands. <laughs> my hands don't do that. <laughs> I, I guess I could do it like this. I don't know. <laughs> Yes, yes. I have, re- I have really long fingers. It doesn't really work. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, thank you for being thank you. like the surprise guest in this live. It meant of a lot course, to me. it was pleasure to me. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Yeah, man. Thanks. For, thanks for coming out. Thanks for talking. Yeah. Of yeah. course. Nice we'll to meet you. We'll see you later, Oz. Nice to meet you too, bro. Thank see you, you at South Carolina or Los Angeles, Camel. Yes. I love, you so much. <laughs> love you. See you, bro. Bye. Bye. That was super cool. I'm glad that you got to meet Oz and speak some Turkish. Yeah, yeah. He seems, he seems like a cool guy. He is so cool. He's amazing. Okay. Mm-hmm. I love to do my lives, to finish my lives doing like this or that. So what that means is the people watching this live get to type in the comments and ask you questions about your preferences. So okay. I'm hoping they will get it and like keep, um, keep asking things because sometimes it's a little confusing in the beginning. So I will start it out and I will just ask you, okay, Zach, do you prefer coffee or tea? Um, I, well, I, I don't drink either of them, but, um, no way. Okay. If, if, 
yeah. If if I'm at a if I'm at a restaurant, I'll probably get tea because it's cheaper. Because you have to drink something. Yeah. Like you have to. Yeah. So you you can't just go to a cafe and you. Yeah. And use the internet yes. and not drink something. So, so I'll get a tea because okay. it's like cheap, the yeah. cheapest. You guys. Uh, in terms of flavor, mm -hmm. the, the co I think coffee has a better flavor. Yeah. Um, but it, but I, I have sleeping issues, so I don't really drink a lot of coffee. Okay, interesting. Oh, hi, mm -hmm. Eric. Yes, Eric is asking Mexican food or Turkish food? Uh, I'm going to go with... I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with Mexican food. I'm sorry, guys. Mexican food. Sorry, guys. Okay. Well, I, don't, I only know, like, I've never been to Mexico. Yeah. And I've never had, like, really authentic Mexican food. I've just had, like, American like Mexican Tex food. Mexican. But I really, li I really like it. Yeah. Um, I suppose that maybe if I went to America mm -hmm. and had to stay away from Turkish food for a long mm -hmm. time, then I might like Turkish food more. Yeah. But, like, right now, at this moment, at Tur uh, Mexican food, okay. no question, right? Okay. You guys, ask Zach this or that question. So he has to choose between two different things. So do you prefer, like, summer or winter? Do you want me to – I think we have a lot of Turkish people here. Would you like yeah, to explain it Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. That would be awesome. Şimdi sanırım burada bir sürü Türk var. Belki herkes İngiliz gibi demiyor. Şey diyor, ben şey yapacağım. Seçim yapacağım. Yani siz seçenekler söyleyeceksiniz. Yani it's like bu mu bu mu? Yani çay mı kafe mi? İşte mm -hmm. McDonald's mı Burger King mı falan. Uh -huh. İşte onu söyleyeceksiniz. Yeah. Ve ben şey yapacağım. Mm -hmm. uh, seçeceğim. Onu söylüyor şu mm -hmm. an. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah? Okay. So there's some people that are just asking questions without like a this or that. So I'll just keep doing this or that. Because it is supposed to be like a pretty quick game. And once people start getting it, usually they don't stop with writing. It's usually like crazy. Okay. Oh, you don't drink mm -hmm. coffee, but Turkish coffee or Starbucks? I do like Turkish coffee. If I have, if, if when I do drink coffee, I usually drink Turkish coffee. Okay, yeah. okay. And introvert or extrovert? Neither. I don't know. I don't know what those words mean. So they don't make any sense to me. Introvert, you get your energy like being alone. Extrovert. What does that mean? You what does that mean? I don't know what that means. You feel. You, people, <laughs> People always ask, where do you get your energy and like freaking carbohydrates? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. What do you, what does that You're mean? You're like, you feel internally like motivated more or like refreshed or yeah, by being by yourself or being with people. Do you have a preference? I don't, I, don't, I, I got nothing. Okay. No, I, don't, I got nothing. I am extroverted. If that helps. These questions are mm -hmm. for you, but I'll tell you guys. Okay. So, okay. Here's a lot more. Um, oh, do you see, like, can you scroll up? Because some of these are in Turkish. So that's like America, um, Turk, I don't know. Do you see that one after the, okay. after the introvert? Extrovert? I see one that says, P I see the one that says pizza or lav machine. Up. And for that, I would take lav machine all day. That's a Turkish food. Okay, go up even uh, so more. We're gonna go up even more and more. There's a lav machine or taco. Okay, America. There it is. Gaju Ladama. I'm not sure what gaju means. That's probably some weird, like, art, uh, slang term that I don't know. Okay. Gaju. Uh, I don't know what that means. You I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry to let you down. Write what that means in the comments. And then, do you prefer chicken or meat shish kebab? Uh, well, so, just for the protein content, I'm probably going to go with chicken. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, I'm sorry, guys. Yes. Yeah, so uh, then we had... Um, bold or not? Bold? Bold, like bold or shy. I don't bold. Like or not. Uh, so I, I, if you're talking about like personality, so I don't know. I like to be very direct when I speak. I don't know. That's kind of bold, yeah. maybe. I don't know. Okay, we'll go with that one for you. You're not very good <laughs> at choosing one, Zach. Come on. Because I don't. I, I'm a. I'm also into like philosophy and okay. stuff. So like okay. we we love like words and explanations and yeah. and. Okay. So if I just say one thing, that's never enough. I have to make sure you know exactly what I mean. Gotcha, gotcha. We, we, have to, we always define, in philosophy, we always define our terms. Okay, uh, yeah, interesting. So it, it's, it's hard. So this is a hard game for you. Well, I'm proud of you for, it is, for stretching, it is. for stretching outside of your capacity or norm. Okay, uh -huh. beer or wine? So I don't drink either. Um, okay. I suppose that wine probably tastes better, but it's more of a guess. I've only tried wine like a couple times. Really? Okay, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Costco or Migros? I don't know what that means. Migros. So that's that's a Turkish 
uh, market. I've never been to I've never been to Costco. What? So I'm, I'll have to go with Migros. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Do you and Migros? Mm-hmm. So it, ha- it has these like it has like levels. Mm-hmm. So it starts with an M, mm-hmm. right? So let me let me tell you let me tell you a little bit of Turkish culture. Okay. So you have Migros that has one M and that's very small. And then if it's two M's, it's a little bigger. Mm-hmm. If it's three M's, it's a little bigger. When you get to five M's, it's like this massive, this huge place with clothes and like appliances and everything. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Interesting. Yeah. So there's lots of there's lots of variety among mm-hmm. uh, the various Migroses. Interesting. Okay. Do you prefer UK or the US for tourism? Um, for me personally, I would have to say the US because that's where my family is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, if I wasn't, if that, that would probably still be true if I wasn't American. Yeah. Just because there's more stuff in America. There's a lot uh, to and do. There's, it's a huge it's country. bigger. Yeah, you know, there's just huge. more stuff. Yeah. There's more, there's beaches, there's mountains, there's, you know, caves, there's Canyons. big cities, there's small towns, mm-hmm. you know, can, the, the Grand yeah. Canyon. Yeah, there's like Rivers, everything. lakes, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. It's true. There's a lot of stuff going on. It's true. Someone asked, do you s- Kushadasu uh-huh. or... Is that supposed to be Selchuk? Yes. I think that's supposed to be Selchuk. Mm-hmm. Um, I've never been to Kushadasu, so I'll have to go with the other one. Mm-hmm. Um, the remains of the ancient city of Ephesus are there, and I really like Oh, yeah. I really like that. That would be so uh, cool to I see. Really, I really like them. Somebody else said camping mm-hmm. in a forest or in a beach. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'll have to go with the beach. Yeah. Camping on the beach. Yeah. I've done it a few times here. Cool. Boyfriend or girlfriend? Well, I have a girlfriend. I am a boyfriend. There you so, go. You are. I mean, yes. Yes. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> American girls or Turkish girls? Definitely. I have one Turkish girl that I like yes. and no American girls that I like. So I have to go with Turkish. It's one to zero right now. The yes. score is one to zero. Yes. And so we're going to have to go with Turkish girls. Oh. I hope she's watching. She doesn't speak English. Oh, wow. <laughs> but, Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, hopefully you can just translate for her. She'll be happy. Oh, so you, so you remember when yes, I, I, I said I don't know what this word mm-hmm. means? It means yeah. Chick. So apparently that's apparently that means like uh, something like that, like girls, ladies, chicks. Yeah. Okay. Something like that. Uh-huh. Love or money? Um, I, I guess love. I don't know. Um, yeah. Let's do with yeah. love. American people or Turkish people? I, you can't, there's, you can't do that. Like you can't, there's so many, there's like good Americans and there's bad Americans. There's good Turkish yes. people and there's bad Turkish people. Some people are nice. Some, you can't do that guys. That's, that's not how this works. That's true. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, and that's how prejudices start. Yeah, that's how racism it's starts. True. It's that's true. how people thinking that they know things when they really don't. That's how that starts. Yeah. You got you guys, you got to stop this. You got to stop this. Rich or poor? I am poor. <laughs> Do you, okay. Yeah. Um, these are not, okay. I don't know that next one, a couple down. So beam or I'll use beer. Uh, I have an I'll use beer near my house. So I have to go with that one. Okay. I feel like I'll use beer is like a, a took, a took. <laughs> <laughs> So in Turkish, you say, you say, we took, oh, a took okay. is like just a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah. Um, above. yeah. It's like a took above, yeah, a uh, above. beam. They're, they're both grocery stores. Oh, okay. Macro center or macro or center Trader or Trader Joe's. Joe's. Yes. Hmm. I'm probably going to go with Trader Joe's. I love Trader um, Joe's. I don't know what macro I've center never is. been to Trader Joe's. It's amazing. Uh, so macro center has a lot of foreign so Macro Center has a – am I – did I just freeze? No, you're I think good. I just froze. You're good. Okay. So Macro Center uh, has a lot of stuff that you can't get at other grocery stores okay. in Turkey. Okay. Uh, a lot of foreign foods. Yeah. But because it's all foreign, it's all really expensive. So in mm. Turkey, foreign stuff is really expensive. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I feel like in Trader Joe's, you can get, like, weird stuff. And it's not outrageously expensive. Yeah. I feel like that should be the case. Yeah. Is that the case? It is. But every time I go to Trader Joe's, I always spend at least $100 because everything looks so good. And you go in there for just three or four items, and then you go out with a whole cart of stuff because you want everything. So their presentation mm-hmm. is amazing. 
But their pricing, like, per items is really reasonable, I feel like. It's not outrageously priced. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, yeah at Macro Center, everything is fairly expensive. Okay. What about TV series or movies? Well, I watch neither. Um, but really? if I had to choose, I would choose a TV show, singular, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because it's shorter. Yeah, okay. Because it's shorter. So then I can be done quicker. Because I don't really like them. Wow. I like to... Okay. I don't really like to stare at a screen. Yeah. I like to do stuff. Yeah, and here you are staring at a screen. I'm talking. It's active. <laughs> That's true. Okay. <laughs> it's different. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad. Okay, family uh -huh. or friends? What's, I mean, what, what, what's the question? Like, do it. You choose one or the other. Is <laughs> <laughs> Zach struggling with this or that? Well, I don't, is the question like, who do you enjoy spending time I with? I think, yeah, that's what I would take it if, as. If that's it, um, then other than like my mom and maybe my sister, well, then I, I like my grandparents too. That's tough. I like, I like both. We're going to, it's an even split okay. on this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know the yeah. next two. Are they Turkish cities or people or? Adana or Urf. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so in Turkey you have um, this thing called an Adana kebab. Oh. Okay. Uh, I, I suppose, I suppose he's referring to, so there's a, there's a city called Adana and there's a city called Urfa. Okay. And both of them have a kebab named after them. Okay. There's the Adana kebab and there's the oh, Urfa kebab. Okay. Uh, gotcha. But the Adana is like the spicy version and mm -hmm. the Urfa is like the, the non-spicy version. Okay. Um, Do you have a preference? So if we're talking about, yeah, if we're talking about kebabs, I'm going to go with an Adana. Okay. Uh, all day, every day. Okay. Mm -hmm. Living in Turkey, hard or easy? Um, for me, mm -hmm. easy. For most people, hard. Okay. Your accent, yeah. same or different? Then what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What, Do you the like same to keep as, it the as same? As a Turkish person? No, I don't it's know. It's not the same as a Turkish person. It's, di it, it's different than it used to be. It's the same as it was yesterday. I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, for exercises, commuting, would you rather walk or bike? For exercises, commuting, would you rather walk or bike? For exercise, mm -hmm. I would probably rather bike because I could probably burn more calories okay. biking. For commuting, um, I, guess I, would, I guess I would bike for both of those. Okay. Yeah. Did your accent change while living in Turkey? My in, in English, like I the way I speak so. English, or the I way I think so, yeah, like your English accent, or did you always sound? Maybe that's what they meant by that question too. Oh, I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, um, you sound the same as always. I probably speak more clearly because mm -hmm. just yes, through making YouTube videos where I have too. to speak really clearly. Yes. Um, but when when I go and I'll hang out with a friend. Like when I go back to America and I'll hang out with a friend, mm -hmm. it takes about five minutes, but I can kind of get back into like the ignorance of, of my former life. But, yeah. but you know, when I'm in Turkey, I'm pretty, I'm pretty straight. Uh, we say do straight, okay. you know, I'm yeah. pretty normal. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> There's a couple yeah. of Turkish ones that I don't understand. Oh, baklava. I understand that. But the other one, I don't uh, know. If it's chai, we're going to go with shikersiz. If it's coffee, if it's co coffee, we're going to go with uh, orta shikerli, okay. which is like, Half, half half sugar. Mm -hmm. Baklava or kunefe? Ooh, I'm going to go with baklava. Mm, so good. Uh, here we go. Blonde girls or brown haired girls? Brown haired girl, singular. Yes. All right. Your Turkish girlfriend. Are you married? I am not married. Somebody wrote something in like Arabic or something. Yes. Horror movie or comedy movie? I watched neither, but we're going to go with the comedy movie. I'm still not <laughs> married. Um, can you put Zach's IG handle in the comments? My, my IG handle, I guess I could do that. Can I do that? Yeah, like your, oh, like the link? Uh, if you do it, I can uh, pin it from my end. So I'm going to do with that learn, learn. There I am. I have an American accent because I'm American. Okay, let me see. Oh, you're still typing it. Did, it, did I do that correctly? Um, I did not do that Did correctly. you send it? I don't think so. Oh, did learn. you? So I, so I Wait, let me see. No, these are questions for me. No. Okay, so yeah, I don't see it. I don't know where it went. What did you do with, with it, Zach? Zach? Well, I start here. I'm sending it now. Okay. Okay, so I just I just typed that in. I'm not sure if yes. that 
I, did anything helpful yeah, at all. It did. So I will just do that. See it? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. There I am, guys. Yes. I'm at the top. Well, it's and, probably easier just to click yeah, on me. Yeah. And also, yeah. they can find you from me by just going to the top and seeing who I'm talking to. And then they can just click your name to follow you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, lots of people have been following me. So that's this, awesome. This has been great for me. Very fun. So there's still a lot of these. Um, people will ask them all day. So are you feeling a little tired, Zach, or how are you doing? No, I can, I can keep going. I can okay, keep going. we can do a few more. Let's scroll back up to, okay, uh, verbal or numerical? Don't know what that means to you. Um, verbal or numerical? Oh, they're talking. <laughs> they might be talking about, I'm, I'm just, this is just a guess, okay. but there's, um, there, in Turkey, when you when you go into university, when you go start going to college, you can pick when you uh, and you pick your major essentially. Mm -hmm. um, they they divide the majors up into categories, and one of them is Sayasal, which is like numerical, okay. uh, and that's like maths, okay. various maths and physics Got and stuff it. like that. Got and it. the other one I think is I th I don't remember what the word is. It's like Sozel or something. Okay. Sozel or something. Okay. Um, so I study music, so I'm not really sure what that is. <laughs> I don't think that um, falls under either of those, right? So I'm not sure In, how to do that. Instagram or YouTube. Yeah. I'm a YouTube guy. Mm -hmm. Sparkling water or plain water. Plain water all day. Dollar or tele. Right now we're going to have to go with the dollar. <laughs> do you teaching to young learners or adults? Um, hmm. Both of those have their benefits. Yeah. Both of those have their downsides. Uh I don't know. Maybe I guess maybe young. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. They're both they're both hard. Yeah. Adults will like listen and like pay more attention, and they're more willing to learn. Yeah. Uh, but the young people are they learn a little bit easier. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I think so. so. I, I'm I'm not sure. Yeah. Not sure about that. Yes. Okay. Thank you guys for your comments. If you guys are just coming are your... in, we're playing this or that, where you can ask Zach about himself by having him choose between two things. So he's already been playing this game for a while because they keep coming in. So if you guys have anything else, okay. Do you see, are you mad in the traffic or calm? Um, I'm a fairly calm guy just in general. I don't really get mad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, pretty, yeah. pretty in control of my emotions, but I've never driven in Istanbul traffic. So that might all change. That's uh -huh. true. I've, Here uh, in Panama, they call it tranque, and it's traffic jams. And today, I uh -huh. took an Uber because I was like, I don't want to drive in that. It's seriously just intense sometimes, a bit overwhelming. And I'm more afraid that I'm going to get into a car accident or a car wreck than anything else. So mm -hmm. I'm like... Oh. Yeah, I've, I've rented a car twice in Turkey, and I've driven all over different parts of Turkey, but I've never actually driven a lot in Istanbul. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that, that could be, that could be where it ends. That could be where, where Zach gets mad. Yes. Who knows? I am not inviting people into this live today. This is just for Zach. And then we talk to a special guest, Oz as well, who's from Turkey. Okay. Do you see okay. Alex or I don't even know. Do you see it in the comments? I don't know what that means. Me neither. Burak Tombas, Tombas, yes. or Bas, yes. says uh, Alex or Iggy. I don't know. Iggy, Iggy. Uh, I'm not sure what he's referring yeah. to. It's not a preference question, but what do you miss the most rather than your, I think they meant loved ones. What do I miss the most about America? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, the ease of transportation. Yeah. The ease of transportation. Yes. Um, because in America, you just walk out of your house, and there's your car. It's right there. You just get in yeah. it, and then you're good. Mm -hmm. And then you go somewhere, and there's no traffic, yes. or in, mo in most places. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Or here, you have to, like, walk to the bus stop. you got to wait. Mm -hmm. If you have a car, it's not going to be right out of your front door. You have to walk to your car, okay. wherever you left it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you have to drive somewhere. But then once you get there, you have to find a place to park. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. there's not, there aren't parking mm -hmm. lots, parking mm -hmm. lots in front of every, like, uh, place. So the ease of transportation. Yes. The variety of foods. 
Um, every time I say this, Turkish people get mad at me. and They're like, we have everything. We have all forms of Turkish food. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, they don't really believe me. Um, well, in, one, in, one of my, in one of my videos, yeah. I was in America, and I, I went to the, the, the, the fat section. So they, not fat, oil, the oil yeah. section oh, yeah. in, um, in Walmart. Yeah. I was like, all right, we have avocado oil. We have sesame oil. We have coconut oil. We have truffle oil. We have grape, black truffle oil. We have white oil. truffle oil. Yeah. We have rapeseed oil. We have grapeseed yes. oil. We have this. I, I just named them all off. I was like, all right, in Turkey... We have two. <laughs> yeah. What olive oil um, and what else? We have olive oil and then something. We have what? Well, we have sun, sun, sunflower, sun, sunflower. Yeah, sunflower oil, okay. oil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which functions in America like the way we use like vegetable oil. You know, it's yeah, like the totally. the unha it's the unhealthy one. You yes. know. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. He lives in Istanbul. This is an interesting question. Has your personality changed in Turkey? Oh, I'm sure it has. I mean. I came here when I was 22. Yeah. So most people change a lot during their, you know, early 20s. Yes. Um, and then when I add, so that that period of life is already really volatile. Mm -hmm. Really, lots of change going on. Mm -hmm. I add like a new culture and a new language. Yeah. And my first time living abroad, yeah. and yeah, I'm sure that I've it's changed. A lot. I'm sure I've changed a lot. It's a yeah. lot for sure. Yeah. Okay, I want to learn. I want to speak, learn English. I want to learn to speak English. That's, mm -hmm. yes. How can I do you recommend? So what can you recommend or advise somebody who wants to learn how to speak English? Someone just, um, so uh, if this person is Turkish I think and they don't speak English very well, yeah. if this person doesn't speak English very well yet, yeah. they can go to my, my, my, my uh, what, what do I have? A channel, my YouTube channel. And go they can uh, YouTube, start. Yes. <laughs> And I have a series called Foundations. They can start there. Um, if they don't speak English, they probably don't understand what I'm saying right now. Yeah. Um, you but can say, the, why foundations, don't you say that. Why don't you say that in Turkish as well about your YouTube channel? That's okay. Dedim ki İngiliz için çok yani iyi değilse o zaman benim kanalıma gidebilirsiniz. İşte English with Zach yazabilirsiniz. English with Zach yazarsınız. Yes. Orada Foundations diye bir serim var. Yeah. Orada sıfırdan anlatıyorum Türkçe, şey, İngilizce. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys. Go. Yes, thank you. Thank you. So, I'm glad if my um, smile can save a person who attempts to commit suicide, that's that's amazing. So I will smile at them. Okay. So, this person said, Zach's American accent is obviously different than Native Americans. Why? No. I think you have an American accent. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they're referring to, like, Native Americans as, like, oh, like the Native like American Indians? Indians. I don't know. Yeah. I'm yeah. not sure either. Zach, what are your thoughts, like a quick just resume about your first Instagram live? Would you do it again? Are you like kind of this is cool or are you going to just stick with YouTube lives? Yeah, this was kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. So normally yeah. I'm on YouTube and I'm either I'm either speaking very, very slowly mm -hmm. or, or, or I'm like teaching, yeah. you know, but there's yeah. I don't really get to just talk yeah. very often. I don't really just get to just express myself very often. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this was fun. Oh, good. I'm glad. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for being a part of this live. I will save this live stream. So if you guys missed anything, you're coming in late, you can go back and watch this. And thank you all for your comments, for your participation. And I wish you guys the best rest of your evening or day or morning, wherever you are in the world. Thank you, Zach. No problem. Thanks for having me. Yes. Bye, guys.